Prince Harry will soon arrive in the UK to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Games of the Unconquered before the event heads to Canada next year. However, there is a scandal brewing around the event. With the Duke of Sussex's involvement in the Unconquered Games under scrutiny, event organizers have announced that there are only two cities on the horizon to host the 2027 event, Washington DC in the US and Birmingham in the UK. Lord Allen, chairman of the Unconquered Games Foundation, said in a statement, We were delighted to receive such a large number of bids to host the 2027 Unconquered Games, which gives us great confidence in the next series of games after the Vancouver Whistler 2025 Unconquered Games presented by ATCO and Boeing. Both cities now shortlisted for 2027 have kept the experience of competitors and fans at their core by making different but extremely exciting bids. We look forward to the next stage of the process and selecting another inspirational version of the games over the summer. However, the announcement comes amid reports that around 2,000 ex-military personnel have left the games, saying the event has lost its original meaning. It was originally set up by Harry in 2014 to support wounded and ill servicemen and veterans. Due to these changes, Prince Harry was asked to scrap the project. In addition, some reportedly also expressed their displeasure with Meghan Markle's involvement and said it was becoming too royal. This is not surprising because it has long been reported that all of Meghan Markle's ridiculous outfits at the Unconquered Games, as well as the Dukes of Sussex, staying in luxury hotels and everything else, are being funded by the Games Foundation, which is not pleasing to its participants. However, despite the alleged requests, one public relations expert, Ryan McCormick, believes Harry has no intention of leaving the Unconquered Games. Harry had no qualms about being honored as an aviation legend in January, so I don't believe he will heed the calls to leave the Unconquered Games, he said. However, if the Duke did so and said it was out of respect for veterans, it could be a significant boost to positive PR. That said, royal fans have split into two camps. Some agree with the veterans and suggest Prince Harry should leave the games and focus on polo, while others blame the news on a hand from the palace that is manipulating public opinion in this way. Oh, they don't like it because of Henry and his missus. They said so and Henry is ignoring it. He's going to stay even if it's too royal. He might as well give it up and concentrate on his polo show. The best news, both of them are leaving. We can finally get back to the original cause, supporting veterans. Harry founded the games and veterans love him. Publishing lies about 2,000 veterans leaving. Even 2,000 veterans don't participate in the games, they really are now. Can Camille and Willie stop feeding that nonsense to the press right now? Keep up the good work, Harry. Ignore the purveyors of fake news. 